Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We're coming to you live from Abu Dhabi at the Heart Valve Society Conference. Thrilled to be here with Dr. Marta Leone, who is the Professor of Medicine at Columbia University Medical Center. He has also been a national PI, Principal Investigator, for many, many research studies specific to transcatheter aortic valve, known as TAVR, which one is one of the most disruptive and transformational technologies in all of cardiac care. Dr. Leon, thanks for being with me today. Adam, it's my pleasure. Yeah, so we were just having a conversation, Dr. Leon, about um, the indications for TAVR and how you've been testing them clinically. Um, some of our patients may or may not know, it started in the interoperable group of patients, and then it went to the intermediate, risk group of patients and to recently the success with the partner three trial the mm -hmm. low risk patients can you explain we're just i was just wondering what comes next for TAVR. well it's like peeling away the layers of an onion um, we're now looking at all the indications where surgery is being done for aortic valve disease and we're learning that TAVR seems to be a very good alternative in some cases a preferred alternative to surgery in those indications but when we've exhausted all the surgical indications, we're now trying to find new indications that might allow us to intervene in this disease of aortic stenosis at an earlier point of time than, he, than surgery ever did. And the two categories we're looking at are severe asymptomatic aortic stenosis. In other words, for all patients who have severe blockage of the valve, only about 50% express themselves with specific symptoms like chest discomfort or shortness of breath. So there's a silent form of severe aortic stenosis, which we think probably should be treated at an earlier period of time. So we have a new study called Early TAVR, which is um, randomizing 1,100 patients uh, at 75 centers to get an answer to this question mm. about whether or not we should be intervening sooner with TAVR in the asymptomatic patients. And we have another trial in patients that don't have severe aortic stenosis, but have moderate aortic stenosis in the presence of a slightly reduced heart function and also symptoms of heart failure. That also is not a scenario that you would normally do surgery, but we feel TAVR may be an ideal option in these patients. And we have a new study called the UNLOAD trial, which is a European-US collaboration, which is also ongoing in those patients. Wow, well it's amazing to me, all this work that you've been doing, the research, um, it just, uh, it never it's, ends. it's really a gift that you've given to folks with valvular disease with uh, the work that you've done. So on behalf of all the patients who are out there, Dr. Leon, thank you so much for what you do. It really is a pleasure to meet you here at the Heart Valve Society Conference. Adam, thank you for spreading the word.